I can feel the energy coming from them, and it's just amazing. But you know, decks too are very personal. What this moon eagle. deck works for me may not so work in. for you. Oh um, nine. But uh, certainly that deck and, and that teacher and developer of decks, I highly recommend because they work for me. Um, she also has a number of different books on the subject of angels, and uh, find those really helpful too. Um, where was I? Um, stones, decks, um, candles. You can get angel candles. I mean, there's many different angelic tools, um, even talismans. Well, one of the first things I did when I first started working with angels, I replaced all of the electrical and light switch plates in my house with ones that had angel patterns on them. And at the time, my children were significantly younger, although they were old enough to be left in the house on their own. But uh, I always felt that that way, when I left the house, the angels were still there watching over them. Even though, on one level, of course, I knew that because they're always present, but to me it was just even more of a, a stronger presence. Hi, Chris. Hi. Sorry. Um, so yeah, wind I always find uh, is really strong. Wind and light, air and light, I always find that are good uh, signs that they're present. But sometimes, you know that little voice we hear in the back of our ear? That's oftentimes an angel or, or our spirit guides talking to us. Um, the difference between angels and spirit, or one of the ma main differences is angels have actually never incarnated into a physical lifetime um, where spirit guides and spirit have. They've had um, a lifetime or lifetimes here. Angels never incar incarnate. So they haven't uh, developed karma, bad or good, because they're just pure um, energy. And I always find their energy to be positive. It may be frightening because we don't understand, but it's never a negative um, experience or an energy. I always love noticing them there. And uh, they talk to us in really weird ways. We can hear them, we can see them, we can feel them, or they can send smoke in our eyes. Ow. Oh. In some cases, they, I'm not uh, a student nor a teacher of numerology, but I'm aware of certain um, numeric sequences. And um, certain numeric sequences tell me that certain things are happening. Uh, for example, if I see a sequence of 444, four, four, that tells me that uh, angels are present. And if you're filming me, can you stop now? Because that's enough, and I'm getting uncomfortable.